The remote island of Papua, located in the Pacific region, is home to many indigenous tribes that have lived in isolation for centuries. One of these tribes, known for their practice of consuming human flesh, has recently drawn the attention of outsiders. Despite the taboo nature of cannibalism and the moral and ethical concerns surrounding it, some individuals are drawn to visiting the tribe and learning about their culture. Hi, welcome to Hero Summary Channel. This channel is about facts, histories, and amazing stories. For today's video, join me as we explore this remote Malaysian island and learn about the unique customs, traditions, and ways of life of this community. Exploring Papua Island is considered to be the ultimate adventure. This distant Melanesian island which is larger than the state of Texas, is the most diverse place on the planet with 312 distinct tribes that speak over a thousand different languages. These indigenous peoples have been living on the island for over 60,000 years. Here in West Papua, Indonesia, there lives the Khoi tribe. The Korowai, also known as the Khoi, are an indigenous tribe that lives in the remote southern lowland rainforests of Papua, Indonesia. They are known to be one of the last tribes in the world to practice cannibalism. They believe that some people are kakwa, a type of wit, and that eating the flesh of a kakwa can protect them from being harmed by the kakwa's magic. The Korowai are a small tribe with an estimated population of around 3,000 people. They live in tree houses and maintain a subsistence lifestyle, relying on hunting and gathering for survival. The Korowai have had little contact with the outside world and their way of life is considered to be threatened by logging and mining activities in the region. With all the discoveries I've learned in this small area, what struck me are the tall tree houses. According to them, this is a kind of defense against raids. This tribe also has a unique way of communicating with each other over long distances through the dense rainforest. They use a special whistle call known as a duvai, which can be heard up to a mile away. This whistle call is a way for the tribe members to communicate with each other and to alert other members of their location. The Korowai can identify the whistle of a specific person and can use it to locate them. They also use shouting as a way to communicate over short distances. This is typically used within the immediate vicinity of the village or tree houses. This is the heart of the jungle where the tribe is staying. With that explanation, I realized that this is not the Koi tribe after all, but Mamuna tribe. Mamuna and Korowai are sister tribes that share the same beliefs, so it is still worth noting their culture. Moreover, tree houses and the way of communication of the Kurawai tribe are similar to the Mamunas. In this tribe, modernization is slowly advancing in, which explains their cigarette addictions, but they still maintain traditions. The first time this tribe has laid eyes on a foreign human was just 35 years ago. Traditionally, the Mamuna lived in a tall, stilted tree, scattered throughout the jungle to protect themselves from floods and animals also to disrupt other clans from capturing its members for cannibalistic needs. I am thrown into a scene of the Mamuna preparing saga, a starch that is extracted from tropical palm trees only found here in the Papua wind jungle. For them, it is a primary source of nutrition. When asked if some of the villagers are scared to be eaten by others in the tribe, one of them said, yeah, he's scared. While the Mamunas aren't the ones eating humans, their neighbors are. I also discovered that Korowais are not eating human flesh for enjoyment or nutritional value. Rather, they are eating humans for punishment. When you steal, your body will be burned and eaten. The Korowais also believe that mysterious deaths like diseases are attributed to the Kakwa or evil demons who take on a human form. Kakwas are said to disguise themselves as family members or friends in an attempt to gain the trust of the tribe so they can later kill them. It is Kurwai's tradition to perform cannibalistic rituals on anyone believed to be a Kakwa so they can protect the rest of its members. It is part of their revenge-based justice system. 
In terms of hunting, both the Korowais and Mamunas who have a deep knowledge of the rainforest and its resources use those to hunt for food. The Korowai make their own bows and arrows, which they use to hunt for small animals such as birds and rats as well as larger animals like pigs and casuaries. They also use blowpipes to hunt for animals such as monkeys and squirrels. They make the blowpipes using bamboo and poison the tips of the darts with a toxic sap from a specific tree. And for fishing, they go to rivers and streams and use traditional methods such as fishing lines and spears. The Mamunas and Korowais are just like me and you. They love, they hate, they laugh, and they cry. To call this tribe uncivilized is downright incorrect. They foster relationships and value family in a way that is lost to our smartphones. So who's to say who is civilized or not? The Mamuna tribe hasn't had the advantage of cross-cultural pollination seen in Western societies and therefore they haven't benefited from the economic advantages. But their culture is so rich and intact. They are also known for many years for their tradition of cannibalism which is considered taboo and illegal by the international community. This tradition, which is rooted in their belief that some people are kakwa and that eating the flesh of a kakwa can protect them from it, is not widely accepted or understood by outsiders. It is essential to respect their autonomy and consider the context in which their beliefs and practices are rooted. It may be a taboo to others and unethical to many, but it is important to approach the topic with a cultural sensitivity and respect and learn about their culture and tradition. What do you think about this topic? Do the tribe's practices shocked or amazed you? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.